Last week, we celebrated National Dog Day, celebrating all dogs and encouraging pet adoption. And this morning, one of our viewers gives us a rescue dog story that we can all cheer for. In this Tully's Tales, an immeasurable bond born out of an unspeakable tragedy. And she was rocking right beside me. And when she jumped into the bushes, I thought she had jumped on a lizard. She got poked right here, and there was a spot of blood on her. Sherry Morin's Labrador, Megan, had been bitten in St. Pete by a rattlesnake. Emergency vet technicians gave her antivenin, but it was too late. They led me to believe that I was going to pick her up in a couple of days, and she went into cardiac arrest right after I left. And I guilt myself for not being there. You just don't even know. Sherry relied on her faith to help her find a new companion. And I looked at Megan's picture. <laughs> And I said a prayer to God, and I said, please, God, give me a sign that I'm doing the right thing. And that's when she met Bongo the Border Collie from the Pinellas Humane Society, where they thought he'd never find a home. And he put his paws through the gate and wrapped them around my wrist, pulled me into him, and chewed on my ear. The exact same way Sherry says Megan used to greet her every day. And that was my sign from God that Bongo chewed on my ear. That was nine and a half years ago. He's never done it since. So now, nine years later, countless walks later, countless boat trips later, Sherry couldn't be more grateful she has it. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a husband. My family is at a distance. Megan was the only thing I had. <laughs> and so when Bongo stepped in, he really filled my huge vacancy in my life. Sherry, very brave to share that story with me. We want to tell your pet story. Please join the Tully's Tales Facebook group and tell me about your rescued pet. It's hard not to feel that one right, mm -hmm. yeah. right mm -hmm. here. That's a, that's a very good story. And I, I, we just had to run a little something on Friday because it's National Dog Day. Mm -hmm. But if there is ever a story that convinced you that these dogs mean so much to some people as companions, that is perfect proof. Oh, I tell you. Got me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it got me too, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, it was a good one. Uh, they, yeah. they make Thank a huge you, difference. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just, uh, you know, they love you no matter what on any day. That's the best part. You walk into the house, long day at work, whether it's a good one or a bad one, they're there to greet you and they're so happy to see you always. That just makes such a big difference.